Hey, welcome back to the Squat 22 Challenge. Today we're talking a little bit about knee pain because if we're going to do 22 squats per day plus for 22 days, we want to make sure that those are pain-free reps. Uh, your brain is basically going to be wired or rewired through pain-free movement in a good way or painful movement in a not so good way. So it's really important that we do this simple test first. So I want you to go ahead and try a squat, see how far you can get into your squat pattern and then where, if you do have some pain or discomfort, where that starts. And once you have that mark, we're going to take a light jump stretch band, load it from the side to a secure object, and then reach out, load the midline a little bit more. So we're checking core stability and does the addition of midline stability and a little bit more engagement in the core reduce that knee pain or increase your range of motion? If so, this is a great way to squat for a while. Um, if not, we'll continue to give you some other ideas of how you can improve pain-free movement. So for the Squat 22 Challenge, I um, want to dive into a 22 second hold and then also our 22 reps. So if you found that this exercise was good, you might want to load it this way for half the reps and then load it back facing the other direction with the band pulling to the opposite uh, lateral in that case. Um, if you're not going with the band, if you're squatting pain-free without load or without addition of that midline stability demand, we're just going to knock out 22 reps and then go two sets because this is a progression. We're going to go ahead and go up to 22, pushing through that whole foot. Got this, keep pushing through. And 22 reps, okay? So that's our first set. And then we're also going to do a hold, just like we did last time. So again, if you found that this was a useful tool, adding that midline stability helped, you can hold 11 seconds facing that way in the bottom of the squat, pain-free range of motion, and then uh, 11 seconds facing the other way. If not, we can just drop into the squat, then we're gonna hold here for 22 seconds. Didn't set a timer today, so hopefully staying honest on the one 1,000 up to 22 1,000 count and actually counting seconds. If you set a timer, awesome. Now we're gonna go back. So for level two, we're adding a second round of 22 squats. The quads, the legs are gonna probably feel it for the next few days. Continue, as long as there's no joint pain, continue to work through that little bit of fatigue. And I think you're gonna find just some results that you're pleased with at the end of 22 days. Good job, you got this. I was learning today about our brain and thyroid function. The pituitary gland, of course, releases that thyroid hormone. And this doctor that was speaking, this chiropractor, he's basically saying that hypothyroidism is not a disease, it's a lack of exercise. Because the simple act of high intensity exercise done consistently gets your pituitary gland, it stimulates pituitary to produce uh, TSH. So um, basically the, the thyroid hormone, uh, the precursor of that is gonna be kicked in when you start exercising. So just another encouragement, if that's been um, part of your health history, work with your doctor of course as always, not handing out medical advice here, but exercise is really key and it can be uh, helpful in getting hormones in balance and getting uh, thyroid, thyroid levels where they need to be. So way to get after it. Next few days, keep working on that. Two sets of 22 squats and the 22 second hold. If you have questions, please reach out. If you need some encouragement, accountability, please reach out. We're here for that too. It's part of what coaching is and why we love what we do. Um, until I see you 
In the next layer of progression, keep making these your healthiest years yet. Thanks.